In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on a Baofeng DM1801 or DM860 to the Open GD77 Open 1801 firmware. Now to do this we're going to need two things. We're going to need the Open GD77 CPS software and we're also going to need the firmware file which is an SGL file for the DM1801. So firstly let's download the CPS software so that we can uh, see how that works and from that we will then uh, download the appropriate firmware for the 1801 so we can upgrade it. So you can see here I've gone to the, um, the site, the GitHub site for OpenGD77 CPS. I'll leave a link to this in the description of the video. Um, it's quite difficult, or I certainly find it quite difficult navigating around GitHub. It's not something I'm familiar with. So I'll give you the link and it'll take you straight to uh, this page. And then all we need to do is to click on the OpenGD77 CPS installer file at the top here. And you'll see it's starting to download. We've got the exe file. Let's open it. Uh, Windows doesn't like it. Windows 10 doesn't like it. It's not a problem. It's Windows being fussy. So we'll run that anyway. You won't see that, but Windows 10 is now asking me um, if the app is going to be allowed to make changes to the device. We'll just click on yes. And we'll now get the installer telling us where it's going to install the file. I would just stick with the default. It's not a problem. I've already got the file on this particular PC, so that's why I've got that warning. If you're installing for the first time, you won't get that. I'll just click yes. Click next. It's going to give us a desktop shortcut, which is fine. And let's just go ahead and click install. If we click finish, it will now give us the OpenGD77 uh, CPS. Now that's fine and I'll show you in a moment how to upgrade your 1801 but first we must download the firmware file for the 1801 so I'll just minimize the screen for a moment. Let's go back to our uh, internet browser I'm going to go straight to the firmware screen on github for the relevant firmware that we want. If we scroll down to the bottom of this page you'll see that basically you've got three choices open DM1801, open GD77 and GD77S. Since we're dealing with the 1801 we'll go for that file. Okay so We've now downloaded that. It took, what, a second or so. It's in our download section on our PC. We'll leave it there for now. Let's go back to the Open GD77 CPS software. Now, before we go any further, we need to make sure that our transceiver is plugged into the computer and it's ready for the firmware upload. So what we need to do is we've got our programming lead and we've got our rig. Plug this in to the side here and then what I need to do, these two buttons below the PTT button on the transceiver, I need to hold that one and that one so you hold both of those side buttons, turn the transceiver on, you can hear the computer, you'll see the LED is lit on top of the transceiver but there's no display on the LCD okay that means you're good to go this is now in the update mode for the firmware so we just put that down on the desk let's go to extras on the CPS software so I'll just bring that into view because I'm in the way we'll go to extras we need the firmware loader click on that CPS doesn't know what transceiver we're trying to update here, so we need to tell it. So we select DM1801, DM860 there. 
we need to show it the um, SGL firmware update file. Click on select a file. Let's go to downloads. It knows there, look, that's the most recent file that we've downloaded. Open DM 1801 SGL. Let's click on that. We'll open that file. And it's now uploading the firmware to our transceiver. Okay, only take a moment. And then all we we'll need to do is reboot the transceiver and it will be updated with the open DM1801 software. Don't disturb the transceiver while it's doing this, otherwise you might have problems. Don't switch the computer off. Don't switch the transceiver off. Okay, we're complete. We'll okay that. Now we'll take our transceiver. You see the um, LED is still light. We've still got nothing on the display. Let's turn it off. I'll unplug it from the PC. Turn it back on. And I don't, hopefully the camera will focus once the backlight goes out. The backlight's gonna go out. I'll just turn the backlight out. Yeah, okay, as it, as it comes, it's uh, it's set for no time out on the backlight, but you'll see in a second, because this camera won't focus. Okay, we've got the updated firmware on here now. So this is ready to program uh, using the CPS software here. Um, I've already got a code plug uh, downloaded onto the PC. We can open it up here. And you'll see we've got various zones, channels, simplex channels and so on already in this 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 um, particular code plug will work on a, a GD77 or the DM1801 right all we need to do now to um, program with a new code plug our DM1801 it's got a transceiver here I'm gonna plug it in using the program in lead just turn it there it goes computer knows it's there just, it's all just turned on this time we don't uh, press the side buttons because we're not doing the firmware we're just programming so just turn it on in the normal way up to our software we can see we've got a couple of options there read the rig and program to the rig So click on the right button. Takes a little while. And there we are. Right, now then. Switch your transceiver off. Switch it back on again. And I'll just show you here. We've got various zones. Let's just see if we can program on for that. It's virtually impossible to focus this when the backlight is on. But hopefully there, as it goes out, we'll see that we've got the various uh, zones programmed in here. Um, we could use this exact same code plug with a GD77 or a Bofang RD5R. So once you've got one code plug, if you've got another transceiver, be it a GD77 or an RD5R or DM5R, it'll all work. Okay, I hope that was helpful. And um, we'll do a little bit about actually writing a code plug on this software um, in the near future. Thank you very much for watching.